Hi guys, it's Marco from Open Home Automation and in this video I will show you how to use a REST API on the Arduino platform and the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. So in a moment I will tell you more about what is a REST API and why we need it. But basically I've been playing uh, for some time now with the Arduino Yun, which has such an API. And I found out it's, that it's very easy to use this chip uh, because it has this kind of API. On many other official Arduino shields and boards, like the Ethernet shield or the Wi-Fi shield, they already have some software to uh, make a, a REST API on these boards. But what I wanted to do is really make the same available for uh, the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. So I'm going to show you how the project is um, was made. Also, I will show you and guide you through the code, how you can get it, how you can upload it to, the, to your board. And finally, I will show you a, a quick demo with the project you are seeing at the moment. So I just have an Arduino Uno board, uh, the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip, and just two LEDs to test this REST API. Okay, so to show you why we need a REST API for Arduino, uh, let's take a typical application. For example, in this project I have two LEDs or a relay connected to my Arduino board and I want to turn them on or off depending on the interface on my computer. So let's say um, this interface Let's say this interface is over here, that's on my PC, and I have an on or off button. And this interface is running on some web server on my computer, and this will send some data to my Arduino board. And then here you have, for example, an LED just turn it on pin number eight, right? And the question is, what do we put uh, in this function or this request that will go from the interface to the Arduino? And so now you have without a REST MPI, well, you, you can just transmit zero uh, or one, right, for on and off, or actually transmit the, the strings um, uh, on or off. But the problem with that is it's it will work for uh, this specific application, right? But then if you have another application, or if you change the relay uh, from pin seven to pin eight. If you want to control other devices, you will have to do it all over again and create a new Arduino sketch. Whereas with uh, REST, with the REST API, what you do um, is you want to access specifically this resource on your Arduino board and not change the Arduino sketch for, for your application, but rather uh, made a stage that is universal and can accept many commands coming from many different uh, applications. And what you will do in that example, let's say we want to turn the relay on, we will just have to go to a web browser or an, a web application and send this, the following command. We want a digital uh, pin to be turned on or off. The, the number it will be eight and the state of the pin. And this is exactly what we will do in the example that we'll just follow. But first I will uh, show you the code. So now I will quickly guide you through the code. So as usual, the code is available on um, GitHub. Uh, you will find the link just below the video. Um, and it's quite simple, you just have uh, one Arduino sketch which is in that folder. I will give you the details of that sketch after that. 
but also on the repository you have uh, this tweet documentation told about the supported hardware, an overview, how to tweetly test um, the, this sketch, and then you have uh, the documentation of the API. So for now, the only supported operations are digital operations, analog, and operation to change the mode uh, of a given pin. So now the code, I will not uh, go into all the details. Uh, you can find that on the article on my website. But basically what the code, do, the code does is uh, create this uh, web server on the Arduino board, which is actually called Arduino, and will be accessible by typing arduino.local in your web browser. And then here it handles uh, connections from the outside. And whenever a client is uh, connecting to the board, it reads the answer and then you can see there are all these if statements to determine which command was received. So is it a digital command? Do we want to read, write, on which pin? It's all done by this, um, the end of um, the sketch. So now um, that's enough for the code. I will upload this code to my Arduino board and I will show you a tweet demo. Okay, now to finish this video, I want to show you a simple demo of uh, the REST API for the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. And to do this, I will simply uh, go to my web browser, which I just opened, and I will access the Arduino board using the REST API that we just developed. So this is done by doing a simple arduino.local. And the first thing I have to do is to put um, pin number um, 8 and 6 in my case uh, to outputs because I just connected two LEDs uh, to these pins. So I will do that mode 8 outputs and you can see I get this nice confirmation that uh, pin number 8 is set as an output. I will do the same with pin number 6 which is done. And now as you can see on the um, lower right corner of your screen, you get this uh, view of the Arduino board and the two LEDs. And now I will switch one LED on by doing digital 8 and 1, which in means I will apply a digital state high to um, pin number 8. And I get the confirmation and you can see that the LED just turned on. And I will do the same for pin number 6. Now the green LED is turning on, and just to finish, I will put uh, pin number 8 back to 0, and it's done. And really with this, what you can do is uh, play around and make more complex applications uh, from using this REST API on the Arduino with the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. So I just wanted to say a few words before uh, ending this video. As I show you in this video, it's quite easy to control the Arduino board via this REST API. And really, if you have some time, try it out. Just download the code from uh, GitHub. You will find the link below. And I really believe using such APIs will uh, standardize uh, the way we communicate with Arduino boards via Wi-Fi and also via internet. So if you make any cool and fun applications with this API, please share them uh, below or on my website. And if you find any bug, please share them as well. I'd be happy to fit them. So thank you for watching this video. Please share it and see you in the next one.